my dear students good morning have you once at least uh, gone through the derivation for uh, expression of uh, hydraulic jump at home okay we stopped at uh, expression for uh, hydraulic jump and just introduced energy loss the loss of energy due to hydraulic jump is equal to the difference of specific energies at the upstream that is section 11 and downstream that is section 22 that's why it is designated as or represented as el energy loss el is equal to e1 minus e2 e1 minus e2 e1 minus e2 okay here also due to oversight printing mistake e1 minus e1 that will become zero is it possible at least you should think in that way you have to correct oneself so e1 e1 minus e2 is nothing but el that is energy loss we we can write uh, specific energy at section 11 specific energy at section 22 we already learned in uh, at least 5 6 class or 8 class before previously so y1 even is el is equal to even is nothing but y1 plus v1 squared by 2g minus e2 is nothing but y2 plus v2 squared by 2g that is equal to if you rearrange this you will get v1 squared by 2g minus v2 squared by 2g minus y1 minus y2 in some books instead of y1 it is taken as h1 that's why these are equivalent in some books it is also taken equal to small d1 therefore don't worry about the symbols there but we know that velocity at section 11 v1 is equal to small q discharge per unit width divided by depth y1 similarly v2 is equal to q upon y2 substitute these in the above equation el is equal to small q square divided by 2g y1 squared minus small q square divided by 2g y2 squared minus y1 minus y2 therefore we get el is equal to q squared by 2g common factor you take out you will get inside the bracket 1 minus y1 squared minus 1 upon y2 squared plus y1 y1 minus y2 therefore el is equal to q squared by 2g whole multiplied by y2 squared minus y1 squared divided by y1 squared y2 squared means you have taken lcm here and simplified it plus y1 minus y2 but v squared divided by gv1 gy1 y2 must be equal to y1 plus y2 divided by 2 from the previous articles therefore we get q squared is equal to g y1 y2 whole multiplied by y1 plus y2 divided by 2 hence el we can write it as 1 upon 2g g y1 y2 whole multiplied by y1 plus y2 divided by 2 whole multiplied by y2 squared minus y1 squared divided by y1 squared y2 squared plus y1 minus y2 so you have to practice all these steps if you keep on writing simplifying you will get it it seems to be a larger or difficult one but it is not at all difficult it is simple mathematics just substituting the values and uh, simplifying the equations you will get this equation okay we will continue therefore el is equal to further simplify y1 plus y2 whole multiplied by
EL is equal to Y1 plus Y2 whole multiplied by Y2 squared minus Y1 square divided by 4Y1 Y2 plus Y1 minus Y2. Further, if you simplify, you will get uh, Y2 squared minus uh, Y1 squared. How you can write? A squared minus B squared is nothing but A plus B minus A plus B multiplied by A minus B. So, Y1 plus Y2, keep it as it is. Simplify this as Y1 plus Y2 multiplied by Y2 minus Y1 divided by 4Y1 Y2 as it is minus Y1 Y1 minus Y2 instead of that since we have taken minus outside Y2 minus Y1 you have to write careful about this step that's all that is the method how you should follow in the class we have taken minus outside so that Y2 minus Y1 we can keep here also Y2 minus Y1 therefore this also to be converted into Y2 minus Y1 that's why minus is taken outside which is equal to y2 minus y1 is common here also is there here also is there therefore inside the bracket will uh, remain with y1 plus y2 multiplied by y1 plus y2 divided by 4 y1 y2 minus 1 therefore real is equal to y2 minus y1 as it is now y1 plus y2 multiplied by y1 plus y2 is nothing but y1 plus y2 whole squared minus 4y1 y2 divided by 4y2 y1. You have taken LCM and then simplified. Therefore, real is equal to y2 minus y1 whole multiplied by y1 squared plus y2 squared plus 2y1 y2 minus 4y1 y2 divided by 4y1 y2. Therefore, real ultimately is equal to y2 minus y1 whole multiplied by y1 squared plus y2 squared minus 2y1 y2 because 4y1 y2 minus plus 2y1 y2 you will get net minus 2y1 y2 y1 squared y2 squared remain as it is divided by 4y1 y2 as it is in the denominator which is equal to y2 minus y1 whole multiplied by a squared plus b squared minus 2ab that's why y2 minus y1 whole squared divided by 4y1 y2 so y2 minus y1 whole squared multiplied by y2 minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 whole cube divided by 4y1 y2 is nothing but el is it clear very simple immediately after 10 minutes you practice on one white page from first step to last step you find that it is most easy. Only mathematics, chit chatting with mathematics. Now we will take uh, some numerical problems on this. A sluice gate discharges water into horizontal rectangular channel with a velocity of 10 meters per second and depth of flow is 1 meter. Determine the depth of flow of water after the jump and consequent loss in the total head you have to find out the consequent loss in total head velocity of flow before hydraulic jump v1 is equal to 10 meters per second which is given depth of flow given y1 is equal to 1 meter depth of flow after the jump is nothing but y2 that means y1 always before jump y2 after jump from supercritical to subcritical that is known as hydraulic jump discharge per unit width q is equal to small q is equal to v1 into y1 10 into 1 10 meter cube per second 10 meter cube per second per meter because unit width the depth of flow after the jump is given by y2 is equal to minus y1 by 2 plus under the root y1 square plus 4 plus 2 q squared small q squared divided by g by 1 substitute the values you will get 4.043 meter therefore head loss consequent head loss el is equal to don't uh, con get confused with uh, uh, loss in head and loss in energy energy is nothing but head so el is equal to y2 minus y1 the whole cube divided by 4 y1 y2 y1 is known y2 is known substitute you will get 1.742 meter that's all the numerical problem for 5 marks second problem a 3.6 meter wide rectangular channel 
Suppose if same color is get bored, we will take green color. A 3.6 meter wide rectangular channel conveys 9 meter cube per second of water with a velocity of 6 meters per second. Find 1. Is there a condition for hydraulic jump to occur? You have to find out first whether hydraulic jump occurs or not. If so, if so, calculate the height of jump, length of hydraulic jump and strength of the jump. What is the loss of energy per kg of water? Width of channel given B is equal to 3.6 meter. Capital Q discharge is 9 meter cube per second. Velocity of flow before jump V1 is given as 6 meters per second. Therefore, is there a condition for hydraulic jump to occur? You have to find out. What is the condition? What is the condition? With respect to Frode number, that means you have to arrive first for Frode number and then condition is to be said. If it is satisfied, then you can say hydraulic jump will occur. Q is equal to AV, we know. B into Y1 into V1. Y1 is equal to Q by BV1. That will be equal to 0.4167 meter. Y1. Depth before the jump is 0.4167 meter. Now, continue. Small q discharge per unit width is equal to capital Q divided by B. That will become 2.5 meter cube per second per meter. Therefore, Yc critical depth is equal to q by g whole to the power of 1 by 3. You will get 0.86 meter. Substitute the value. Q is known here. G 9.81 meters per second squared. Therefore, you will get 0.86 meter. Since Y1, Y1, which is given, is less than Yc. What is Y1? 1 meter, if I remember. Let us see. Y1. Y1. Y1, 0.4167 meter. Yc is found to be 0.86 meter. Therefore, Y1 is less than Yc. Hence, hydraulic jump will occur. Next, we have to find out height, length and strength of jump. So, for that, for a number FR1, we know that V1 divided by under the root GY1. Substitute the values you will get FR1 is equal to 2.967 meters. 2.967 meters. Y2 is equal to, we know the formula, Y1 by Y2 whole multiplied by under the root 1 plus 8 FR1 squared minus 1. That is equal to, substitute the values you will get 1.525 meter as y2 therefore hydraulic jump is equal to y2 minus y1 1.552 minus 0 0.416 that is worked out to be equal to that is worked out to be equal to 1.1358 meter length of jump we can take 6 to 7 times the height of the jump here you, you can write one sentence since length of jump may be taken equal to 6 to 7 times, 7 times hydraulic uh, jump, height of hydraulic jump, I am taking here 6 times. So, 6 into height of jump, that will be equal to 6.8148. If somebody takes 6.5, it's well fine. If somebody takes maximum value, that is 7 into H, that is also correct. Strength of jump is nothing but Y2 by Y1, that will be equal to 3. 7 to 6. Energy loss EL is equal to Y2 minus Y1 whole cube divided by 4 Y1 Y2 that will work out to be equal to 0.57 meter. So you have to substitute the value Y2 value 1.552 Y1 value 0.416 you will get 0.57 meter. Next uh, last numerical problem perhaps. In a rectangular channel in a rectangular channel, 
of 0.5 meter width a hydraulic jump occurs at a point where the depth of water flow is 0.15 meter depth of flow of water is 0.15 meter and frode number is 2.5 frode number is given determine one the specific energy the critical and subsequent depth loss of head and energy dissipated we have to find out solution width of the channel is given 0.5 meter depth of flow y1 is given 0.15 meter frode number is given 2.5 therefore specific energy is what specific energy e1 can be written as y1 plus v1 squared by 2g fr1 is equal to v1 upon root 2g y1 y1 is known fr1 is given therefore v1 you can calculate so v1 is worked out to be equal to 3.03 meters per second then e1 is equal to y1 plus v1 squared by 2g substitute the values you will get 0.618 meter as loss of energy the critical and subsequent depths yc is given by we know yc is given by q by g hold the power of one third v1 is equal to q by y1 that is equal to 3.03 just in the previous step we have calculated v1 value therefore discharge per unit width q can be calculated as or worked out as 0.4545 meter cube per second per meter yc 0.276 meter so to calculate substitute the value you substitute the value of q divided by g 9.81 meters per second squared for the power of one third you will get yc value as 0.276 meter therefore subsequent depth that is conjugate depth y2 is equal to y1 by 2 whole multiplied by under the root 1 plus 8 fr1 squared minus 1 then it is worked out to be equal to 0.461 meter and hence lastly energy loss el is equal to y2 minus y1 whole cube divided by 4 y1 y2 if you substitute the value you will get 0 0.108 meter is it clear i said it must be the last problem of course references same k subramanya flow in open channels tata macra hill publishing company pn modi and sm set hydraulics and fluid mechanics including hydraulic machines in sa unit standard book house publication house rk rajaput and rk bansal these are the good standard textbooks you can refer and understand the concepts very clearly thank you for watching we will continue in the next class the new unit this unit is completed thank you once again have a good day